Welcome to the Dobsonian Power Sessions of the Keep It Simple Astronomy Channel. I can see that most of you have good weather. Let me see another site. HD satellite. Okay, we have a bit of thin clouds here. We barely see them because of this okay let me see here I was almost to not to do the live stream today I placed the 18 inch of sun and telescope yes now it's fine because when I was scheduling half an hour ago it was like this these thin clouds and with the moon they they appear stronger at least we can see it better. But as it's windy, which is not very good, but it's not so much wind, it's thanks to the wind that we are allowed to watch something in the sky. You see it's windy, but this wind is pushing the, the clouds, it's protecting us. So it will be fine, let me see later to see the trend of the wind, it will be better, more blue. Okay, we will be more or less fine. So, today we will work with this telescope, the 18 inch of sun and telescope, the popular telescope, the keep it simple one over an equatorial platform, which is so simple to place one part, then another part, and that's it. It's very simple, and it hangs on uh, against the wind better than the, the 12 inch. The 12 inch for today is not uh, is not good, and at, at least until I I protect this. But I have a, a project more than a year waiting to approval. Well, let's see the shot first. Who's here? So Antonio Cortez, bad weather in South Central Texas all month, clouds and rain continues. Yes, because I saw, look at this, your country. The world. Watch the world here. It's incredible. Let's place again HD. If we zoom out, we are lucky today because, well, here in the United States you have a, an open space here. But and Africa and the Orient, but almost Europe is all full full of of clouds, and here in the east of United States is also. Let me see Australia, how they are. Well, so so, 50 percent. It depends on the location, I guess. So we are lucky today, you know. I, I, <laughs> I think I, I, I am lucky sometimes. I discover one, one interesting thing here in my place while I, I'm watching the sky. From about uh, maybe a week ago at midnight because of that stuff that uh, are all over the world with uh, energy and saving energy and so. At the midnight, they shut down the a bunch of LEDs they have near my house. At midnight, they are all shut down. This gets so dark; it's very nice. From midnight, which means in an in an hour, less than an hour. These days, now I have always much darkness than the than in the past. <laughs> But it's it's. A bit silly because at the city there are loads of lasers and parties and so on until the end of uh, August, uh, of the summer and I don't understand but for me it's okay save energy shut down shut down all, all of the lights oh you're bad Linux 
Yes, and I wanted so much to do today the live stream. Yes, thank you. Uh, I noticed it. Uh, I wanted so much to do the, the live stream because of the moon. The moon is starting to get much more powerful. I've managed to watch all your record streams, but first time getting in here live. Love your vids. Thank you very much, Kaden Christensen. Christensen. I hope uh, I spelled all right. Thank you very much. My live streams are for you. Are the best part of my of my channel because they are dedicated not to a broad audience but to you. I hope more people get in, but Eighteen Shlovsonian <laughs> Flooding in Georgia. Hello Marco. <laughs> Lucky guy. I'm right in that clear spot in the US. Today you you will choose the object. I I don't have nothing in, in mind. Well I have a plan B. If you don't shoot don't want to choose, I have one. But uh, can you see the globular Omega Centauri from our, your location? Yes, not now. Uh, now is is gone already. But yes, I can. Only at uh, until more or less 80 degrees altitude. It's the maximum that I I can get it. But it's enough even with light pollution. My Dobsonians can ca capture this. Um, That globular cluster, huge and super bright, it's wonderful. Linux, I am glad you are streaming, only way I can see any sky. I talked on that, not because of you, but because I saw the, all the world bad, with ba bad weather. Marco. Cloudy and fogs at my place, but it was clear for about half an hour, so I managed to do some yay-yay. Good. You know, the w not the, the most interesting sessions I did, but many sessions I did between the, the clouds come and go. There are great spots to to do a yay-yay or a sort of more yay-yay because you don't have much time, so it's perfect for yay-yay. And I caught, I captured beautiful objects and very nice captures, captures with with clouds in the sky. But those clouds, be huge clouds that passes, and then we have a, a, a clear area, and then clouds again. And between that uh, that uh, cloud, those clouds, we can have a, a very nice uh, life stacking. The thing is, today the, the kind of clouds here are thin clouds, are tricky. We can't see them, I can't, I can't see. I go outside, well, with the moon, I can't see some of them. But they are tricky because it seems that it's clear and it's not. That's why many people uh, blame many things in the, the imaging sessions, uh, because it's this or the camera or, or whatever. And it's not, it's it's just the, the transparency. Antonio, I took advantage of the bad weather and cleaned my mirrors. It's a way, the way to go. I will clean them after the summer. To clean, I, it still have a, a bit of dust and, and stuff from the summer and... and uh, the fall, the, the when the fall is coming. Bill Kelso, I tried to see it in my vacation from Gran Canaria, but I had no telescope and we had always clouds in August. Well, some of them, uh, some of, of the of August you should have. But Canarias have very nice weather and it's very good to watch the sky. Hopefully you can get a telescope to do that. 
Charles, these astrophotography live streams are cool. Any chance you capture the wild duck cluster? I will, I will place. Uh, we have something here for the ones that don't know or just came in. We have something here in these days that I have nothing to to choose, and it's you that choose the object. Um, we have something here. It's called the wheel. The wheel. The wheel. All right, the wheel. <laughs> you tell me the, the the objects. I confirm that we can that they are on site, and then actually I will start that now before connecting the platform. So let me place here the wheel. So while the cluster, let me open Stellarium first. To check the objects. Hold on. Let's see. Wild duck. Uh, no. It's no good today for that. Southwest, it sh it should be to the left. South, southeast, east, northeast, north. That uh, area of the sky, and it's it's near the moon. It's too close to the moon and too low. Also, I think it's not a good. Uh, let me check outside. Yes, no way. Almost, but we have the building here and I have the telescope right next to me. I can do it with a telescope uh, in, the, in the middle of my, my observing site there. But then I take more time to go to the telescope and come again and I don't want to bother you with that. So that one we can't... Let me see you talk about uh, another one. No, here. Uh, I think I saw something. Ah, uh, Omega Centauri, no. You, you see Omega Centauri, it's already... And I can see the Centaurus ah, A. Centaurus A, the, the galaxy. Omega. You see? It's gone already. But you can say other objects. I'm seeing here the Iris Nebula. Let me check everything. I don't want to, to miss any anybody. Yaris is on site. I know but because it's at near north. Yes, north. It's over the... Um, well, it's almost... From the Polaris to the left I, I can't see, but I think the Yaris we can. I will, I will place it here, if we can't. Iris. I am in Barcelona. I am going to Sierra de Montsec, end of September. Darkest sky in all of Spain, I think. It should be fine there. You have uh, good uh, sights in Spain to watch the sky. By the way, we are watching from Portugal near Spain. 
the south of Portugal, which is Algarve, at 37 latitude. For the ones that don't know... <laughs> you are on crazy astronomer. A bit, a bit of craziness, it's, it's healthy. It's healthy. A bit of obsession for the sky. That's pretty neat. Andromeda. Andromeda, we can watch Andromeda. It's still a bit low and it's not a very nice target for this telescope, but it's okay. We have the... let's place here. Andromeda. It's already in position, I think. Let me check. It's still a bit low, I think. I was watching visually yesterday, I think. It's at 44. Yeah, see, it's already on site. Okay. The Ring Nebula. I think the Ring... It's, uh, it's not on site already. It was. Let me check. Yes, it's in Lyra to the west. No, the Ring, no. I will choose one that I think... That, let me see. The Cocoon. That's uh, someone the other day talk about. Cocoon it's at uh, 73 so it's, it's okay. Cocoon. It's like the, the trifid. Does Andromeda even fit in the field of view? Mm, I don't think so but the part, the brightest part and the core we can see. We can see. Uh, I'm using a reducer, so the the telescope it's not at f six, uh, it's at f four point one. I think. Let me check. I want to know. Four point three. It's not at f six anymore. With a focal reducer, it has a larger feel, but. It will distort. You need a 25 millimeters or 30 millimeters eyepiece if you have uh, one, uh, uh, 1500 millimeters focal length on the scope. Yeah, I have 32 also. Comma corrector. No, I don't have the comma corrector. I have, but I'm not using because I'm using the reducer. So, no more objects. Do you want to throw one more throw one more object to place on the wheel? You have from north until south all the northeast, east, southeast, as long as it has at, at least a bit of altitude. Jupiter will be for uh, after the, um, the full moon. It will be in a better position. So that's why with the Barlow and so, so on. M106, let me check. No, it's too low, <laughs> it's near the ground, and uh, besides it's at northwest. The Ursa Major is gone for me now, uh, only when it appears again at, uh, at northeast. It's too... It's too large a North American nebula for this telescope. I don't like it. I only see a part of it and it's not very nice. For the live stream, it's not um, it's not beautiful. 
I didn't drum the yesterday. I did nine images for 10 minutes integration for a mosaic. It took me about two, hour, two hours to image. Each image is 10 minutes of four second exposures. I will send you the final image, Tiago. Send me, Marco, please. I, uh, today we will have also uh, a few pictures <coughs> for the community pictures. Sometimes I will pick one of you of your pictures um, apart from a live stream just 15 seconds to place on a short and expose to the world in, in the channel like I did with uh, I think it was two days ago with Edward and I will pick more to have all of you have the, the opportunity to be there and you can have a laugh and, and share with your friends and family Veil vale Nebula is height in the sky for you uh, yes the veil is good. That one is large, but we can catch some parts. Yes, the veil is. So this is upside down. Let me do like this. Okay. 84. It's too zenith. Too zenith. Now. It was the time already. I can do it, but for a live stream it takes more time. I prefer for, uh, that you choose simpler objects. NGC 6960. Let me check. Ah, it's a veil. West Veil Nebula. Yes, it's too, too at Zenith. Let me see. But it's too much. It's pointing too south yet. Let me check outside. not in a good position today the the weather is I think we have thin clouds so we shouldn't choose like the um, North American nebula th those kinds of nebulosity that kind of nebulosity will will be a mess in in this telescope today alligator cluster what's that that e exists or are you joking Triangle, maybe. It's not yet. 32. It's below and round. Okay, I will place it and then we see. M33. Triangle. Let's see. Or M13. Uh, no, it's at west and too low. At west, it's it's be uh, behind my house. We can't. Fifty-one, thirty-nine. No. <laughs> Sixty-nine-six is the veil. Yeah, but it's not on on site. It's too much. Play this too low yet. Deep in the in the night, yeah, I can see them already. Fine, but I can't do the live stream so 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 late because of Europe. We have loads of people from Europe that watch us. Seventy-three thirty-one. 
68 at east yes i remember this one oh, this is a, a nice one let me place it on the the bookmarks i i watched it already but not this year This Stellarium sometimes had bookmark. Highlight bookmarks. Didn't I light? Didn't add, I don't know why. Uh, okay, I will place it. It's 73. 31 but it's uh, it's an interesting object to watch another one here and then we place the wheel Saturn Nebula, we saw that already. It's in a good position, but uh, we saw that already with this telescope, right with this telescope. Choose another, because we have a live stream with that. I prefer to watch new new ones for the people that always watch the live stream. M83. No. <laughs> M15 the Pegasus uh, that I think we have on site it's interesting also M15 I didn't watch yet yes 64 at southeast perfect let me add it to the fev to the bookmarks I don't know if it will add. Yes, now it add. I like. This is slow. Let me check. M15, okay. M63, and that's enough. Let me check this. We have already a lot. M63. No, not yet. It's a beautiful galaxy, but not yet. Okay, let's let's spin the wheel. I click here and I wait. Okay, we have a winner. It's the M33 Triangulum Galaxy. M33, let me prepare this first. It will not it will not be the, the best shot because it's too low yet, but we'll see. I hope it's on site. Yeah, um, it's not uh, at a very good position, but it's not a good uh, nebula for today and for this telescope. I think you need a larger field field of view too. Tiago, do you know if all street lights turn off after midnight in Portugal? Like you said, I wanted to go there in the next month, and that would be great. I don't know. I don't know. I just uh, realized that at midnight. Look, they they. <laughs> They do this to save money, and that's it. It's not to save the humanity. They do this in this street light specifically, these ones, to save money. Because all the rest of the lights in the, the parties at the, at the private, 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 uh, in the private domain, there, there, are, there are loads of lights over there. Uh, they will shut down but uh, 
because it's it's over the events and and that that's it. So they do that uh, here in this in this place, but I don't know if it's all over the the country. But what I know is that uh, now nowadays the the rules come from from above, so it's not something by our government or whatever. It's from above. Let's let's leave it like this. So I don't know. <laughs> Swimming alligator. I want to see what what nebula is there. Uh, Seventy one sixty. Not joking. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Bruno. Not joking. Seventy one. But because I searched and uh, by alligator, it usually Stellarium as the the names. That's why I was. Yes, it's on site, but now we had already the um, the wheel. But the next time you remember that one, it will be interesting. I like to watch that. Uh, these clusters, all of this uh, for visual Sofia has loads of nice clusters around that that are very nice. I can can't see the bubble nebula like we see in the in the images, but uh, the clusters are great. the triangle will be for sure <laughs> remember me bruno because i i like very much that part of the sky and when we have uh, another wheel we we place it on the wheel but it's like this we have loads of objects here and uh, it it was the winner triangle but let's let's try first because it's too low i think we don't have any problem but let's first triangle M33, control one, where's the pointer? It's over there. So this is what I'm using for the, the ones that don't know. This is the free push to system that I use. It's all free. You have links to, you have links at the description to the video. If you want to install, it's very useful even with a go-to because it can, you will never be lost. This talks with, not with a telescope, because I work with it manually. It's just a telescope and an equatorial platform. But it will talk with Stellarium through a virtual telescope. It's what they call. Now let's open sharp cap and let's move on. So sharp cap. Let's open the wrong. Let's open the two ninety four. Oof! I have to focus. Of course, it's out of focus. Don't worry, I will focus in a minute.
fine. No. The sky is horrible. I almost can't see the um, the Pegasus square. And uh, is what we have. Okay. Let's do the plate solve with a free push to system. This is how we uh, why we use it. Let me see. Here, plate solve. Here, plate solve. And now we wait for sharp cap to solve. I connected, uh, of course, the equatorial platform. So it's tracking. Okay, it's solved. You see the green bar here? Now we go to Stellarium, he communicate with Stellarium, oh I, I'm close to the... Now I change this Telrad pointer to the camera, oops, no, here. Just to have an idea how many screens, screens, I just have to move a bit to the right the telescope, the telescope is here, you see, how, how good it, this is, now I, I have to move to the right a bit, Okay, I will try to to have these stars as a reference and then I go up to watch this nebula, this galaxy we have to use to click here in the auto stretch in the mini histogram bam, you see the clouds, the thin clouds when I click here and this stays this turns all green, but a strong green, it's, it's clouds, I know already. I will lower a bit. Okay, I do this just for a moment to make the, the galaxy kind of pop in the... to make it visible. Hold on. I think the stars are these ones, maybe. Hold on.
Where is it? Let's solve again. go down just go down too much Almost midnight in 10 minutes. Almost midnight here. In 10 minutes, the lights of the. <laughs> okay, it's centered. You see, if I don't use this, I will show you. I will reset. You see, much, much more harder to, to find the faint objects. This is a trick that everybody has to use. Beginner or not beginner? Mini Instagram, the, the Thunderbolt here, auto stretch, bam, and it pops. Okay, I will reset like this and imagine with an eyepiece. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I, I, I'm talking, but while I'm talking, I'm watching the drift if it's drifting too much or not. But I think it's not. The, the obstacle today is the thin clouds are the thin clouds so I will use I will not use the region of interest I will do like this 8 seconds Eight seconds now filter 6 first frame 6 we wait a bit I have at four and a half, it's too much. Okay, six and a half. Let me see if it's bad, really bad frames or five. I will place the threshold to six. Everything below six will enter as a good frame. Okay. And I check the stars are fine, you see. You see, even with the focal reducer, look. Even with the focal reducer, you can see here, but I will zoom for you to see the distortions. But they are just at the, at the edges with this telescope. Now let's make it pop. Let's make some magic. So first, auto color to align the the color bands here and auto stretch bam here we have it the triangle galaxy okay let's not risk too much for now because this 
this galaxy is very nice it's huge on the screen but it's very hard to um, to image without um, weird things let's call it like that enhancement bilateral filter is good for this galaxy and sharp mask we check it and the stars all pop with the unsharp mask it's it's lovely it will not blow the core I chose to not to use the region of interest because I know this is a large galaxy here and I prefer to to crop these aberrations at the edges you see how good it is to work at 3 at 4.3 instead of 6 I will grab much more efficiently and the light and much more photons because it will work faster and the trade-off it's only these distortions at the edges worth it from my perspective let's see the filter yes yeah, six what you see six was a good choice for the filter the full width of maximum which means when I place here six this means a threshold every frame that captures stars larger than six will be red so will be rejected by shark cap and we want it like that we don't want bad frames to to mess with the stack for the beginners we are live stacking stacking frame by frame sharp cap in eight seconds capture this image then eight more seconds another image and stack them all together to have along the stacking a sharp a sharper image and more detailed and with more color let me adjust the histogram again we will see not noticeable uh, vignetting of course for now but we wait okay, let's not push too much i will lower the the blue color a bit one two too much lower the red I think it's okay and now I will adjust readjust this we will push a bit more later for now we will let sharp cap work this is focus yeah, this is collimated this telescope I always grab the telescope I check the collimation is always spot on and I discovered a trick for the ones that balked. I know many people balked the 6 inch Virtuoso go to from Skywatcher that I have behind me. Now you can't see because it's all dark. And uh, I discovered a trick for, um, and it's simple, to all the collimation. Now I, it's always on, col uh, it's always collimated. It's different from the other knobs it's the locking knobs we have to tight very well the locking knobs tight well and uh, they hold and don't damage the the mirror or nothing this is a different system a bit different hello adam Alkeva is a region of uh, Portugal, very dark, yes. But uh, I, I can't complain here. I like my, my region. I'm on Portal 5, but... Elder. I'm a bit of at north of Dark Sky Alkeva. 25 kilometers in, kilometers in line. You are in a good place. As long as you don't have... It doesn't matter a dark sky if we have the neighbors <laughs> or something, as long as you don't have it. But at least you can move a bit and, and catch dark sky. 
Bye bye. Have a nice week. You watch tomorrow. Hey Ray. <laughs> How's the weather there? Of course, this is the Dobsonian Power. Power. Dobsonian Power. In all its glory, the 18-inch Dobsonian telescope over an equatorial platform, GSO mirrors. <laughs> F6, but today working at F.4.3 with a focal reducer, 50 bucks one. You can do the same, worth it. Tropical Storm Earl, that site that I used, the, the NASA site, we, we can see the, we can track them. That's no good. Earl and the other one, what's the name of the girl? No viewing area, I'm sorry about uh, the tropical storm. Of course, as long as it holds. A bit cloudy and some rain. Arizona. Last week, this coming week is going last week this coming week is going to be better hope so we all have the opportunity even the ones that live in bad weather places like I don't know England for instance they have uh, loads of clouds there now we zoom a bit to watch better the, the galaxy we adjust the histogram And we start watching the clusters in the gal galaxy. Lower the red. I think it's better. This is the vignetting, but hopefully we will get rid of it. Let's wait a bit. almost midnight I will go outside to check that LED light thing I think it's every day now I noticed it and it's after midnight they are always shut uh, shut down and they, when I was pointing the telescope now they were connected the the lights My temperatures are still in the uh, 100 degrees far night at night yes here it's too hot also around that also 90s camera cooler can't reach minus 10 celsius only about minus 3 celsius i have the mini cooler connected let me check the temperature because it's too hot today and it's no 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 dew where is it? Here, 22.8. Probably it were usually it, my mini cooler. I did it myself. Uh, lowers the, the the temperature five degrees Celsius. So it should be at 28 now, more or less, because I connected it during the cool down. I did a cool down, a short one, about half an hour, because I didn't know if I was going to place the telescope. The weather is, is a bit weird. Starting to pop the clusters. This, this galaxy needs a bit more of, of time. And the lanes, we, we are starting to see the dust lanes also. Here. Let's wait a bit. This is a beautiful galaxy. 
Antonio Cortez, I am hoping to order my ZWO AZ 294MC later this month and attempt to get into EAA. I can't wait. So congratulations, I know you didn't <laughs> order it yet, but let's pretend you... Let's assume that you, you will. That you will not uh, give up. <laughs> it's the best camera for me. It's the best camera. With a Dobsonian, it's the best one. It's a do-it-all. Planets everything. So as this galaxy takes a bit... Let me check the, um, the filter. It's rejecting just some frames, but it's okay. We have already 7 minutes, 8 minutes now. The enhancement is already there, we, can do, we can't do more. Let's adjust here to see if we can deal better with the vignetting. Not yet. But almost. Too much. Maybe like this. This is huge. Look how huge it is. How how big it is this this N33 Triangulum Galaxy. Let me check here. Let's learn a bit. Samsung. It's not a Galaxy Note. NASA. Samsung. Samsung. Don't open. It's the connection, maybe. Another one. Ah, it's opening. Okay. It's the connection. Whew. You see the, the dust lanes that I was talking about here? But this is Hubble. Spira Galaxy N33 in Triangulum. Nickname Triangulum Galaxy. Half of the size of our Milky Way. The third largest member of our local group of galaxies following the Andromeda Galaxy and the Milky Way. Now the clusters. Blue colored regions scattered through, through the image reveal numerous sites of rapid star birth. Stars are, are born there are being born young stars the rate of the star formation is 10 times higher than the average found in the andromeda galaxy interesting interesting i place uh, i put this in um, in the video i did about it Interactions with nearby galaxies that could change in the future. Apparent magnitude of 5.7, making it one of the most distant objects that keen eyed observers can view with the unaided eye in dark skies. Okay. 
Monsieur. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Ah. I want to thank you to the people that bought from our shop. I announced it already. I have three shops. Uh, I have more. Uh, this one is uh, from United States. And all the people is is buying the t-shirt. The <laughs> but now it's time to, to buy hoodies. I bought a, a lot of things there. You see? This t-shirt. People are buying this t-shirt from the, the store. It's not expensive. $24.99 plus shipping. It's not expensive, the shipping. And you have the links at all my videos and live streams now to England, to United Kingdom in pounds, to United States in dollars, and to Ireland, it's a European site, in euros. I bought one jacket for my wife, three hoodies, one for me, two for my kids. <laughs> I, spend a lot, I spent a lot of money here. I, I received just a very small commission. And this is the Dobsonian power. I bought stickers. I bought... Uh, I don't know more. You see, Dobsonian power. I, I didn't want to promote the channel. I wanted to promote the Dobsonian. And the simplicity of the channel is... inherent here. You see, because it's a simple design. And if someone watch you with the uh, see you with the uh, with this t-shirt immediately will understand this is about the sky and th that you are a guy or a girl that loves the sky maybe they ask you what is the the dobsonian what's the meaning of dobsonian it's a telescope blah 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 amount that john dobson used or invented inspired by the canyons it's it's nice and thank you all to <laughs> if anybody is is here ah thank you ray they i chose the premium ones they are not so cheap but i want quality i bought i bought a lot lots of things i bought also one t-shirt for uh for me one for my son and one for my doctor and more stuff <laughs> <laughs> I spent a lot of... No, I, I have to have uh, these two years rolling to, to, to recover the money I spent. But it doesn't matter. This is a bit for fun and, and also for business, but in a funny way. Yes, it starts... To <coughs> Pardon. It starts to starting to get better and then I will use the the clothes during the videos live streams and I will tell you I know they they are good because I saw another other uh, creators from YouTube not from astronomy but from other topics that uh, bought and um, and they are very nice the, the, the quality is good Let's lower the, the red. Let's zoom here the histogram to check the colors. This is an art galaxy to, to adjust. Green, lower green. I think it's better now. Lower red. Yes, lower red. I think it's better like this. Yes, yes. It's, you see? The vignetting is starting to be hided. I see, I see. No more vignetting now. We can, as we can, we can now that we don't have the vignetting anymore. It's still there, but it's hided. We can push a bit here, the mid level, this one here. You see? Now we have the the confidence because we have already 
14 minutes we have the confidence to to start to risking and pushing this more a bit more not too much because we don't want to you see to blow the car unless let me check the unmask the unsharp mask off uh, The sharp mask has this trade-off. We blow a bit the core, but it enhances the all the these regions, the arms of the galaxy. I don't know. I'm not sure what to choose. But it enhances a lot. Yes, I will I will leave it out like the enhancement. I just move a bit I will release a bit the mid level to balance the core it's better now it's softer and the lanes starting to appear more and more you see all the grainy noise noise that we still see topaz the noise at the end with a quick astrophotography will clean that's why I use it. I will not touch anything else. It's beautiful. Triangle Galaxy. 8 inch Dobsonian telescope over an equatorial platform with a focal reducer working now at f4.3. So, faster telescope now. <laughs> Very nice. And this, the thing is not very good, but... Let me check the, the lights. Yes, they are all off. <laughs> Dobsonian power! Dobsonian power. power! The power of the Dobsonian! The best telescope in the world! Because the best one is the one that you, we use the most. <laughs> And uh, in my case, it's the Dobsonian. And it will be like that. It's so simple. The Dobsonian. Ray knows, the, because Ray ha have uh, loads of telescopes, we will see now a picture, some pictures of it. Hello, Serge. From Quebec, Canada. Canada. Thanks for your excellent videos. You convinced me to get into EAA sometime this fall. <laughs> Welcome to the EAA world, the world of the electronic electronically assisted astronomy. It's great. It's great. EAA, it's great. Of course. <laughs> Dobsonian power. power. You say the magic worlds? Yeah, yeah, it's great. Everybody should try. And remember, in a moment in time in your life, if you love astronomy, you will do yeah, yeah. Because that, that will, there will be mo a moment that your eyes... It's like that. It's human nature. It could be at, uh, when you have 90, 90 years old. But your eyes will degrade with time in some people faster than, than others. Fortunately, I have good eyes, but I don't know for how long. I will save a, a frame here to get the picture because I, I don't like the... Um, 
the drifting now maybe the platform yet yes it should be over one hour no, no almost it's a, a regular drifting and we can see through EAA much more than visual you still do visual I, I yesterday I was all the night here enjoying this darkness without the, the lights after midnight and I was enjoying the, the telescope visually, just visually. I placed the 12 inch, it's a, the larger one I have, the 12 inch outside with my eyepieces and that's it, that was my night. A visual observation, I was watching Neptune visually, isn't it great to watch Neptune? I prefer to watch Neptune visually rather than uh, doing EAA. Because it's so perfect there, and I don't know, it's different, for instance. But of course, if I point to the Triangulum Galaxy, I just see a, a, a poof here. A, 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 I can't see too much. I can't see this, never, it's impossible. And no colors. How can I see this? these clusters? These burning stars here. Stars burning, a lot of stars here and here. This seats full of of that class of those clusters. I enjoy a lot to watch visually the the clusters, the star clusters, the planets. I wa was watching Jupiter and Neptune and um, Saturn. Also, and more objects, but fainter. To to really enjoy, I don't have Bortle 9 or Bortle 1, I have Bortle 5. It's getting beautiful, let's adjust the histogram again. Ah, we have to adjust here. Now let's zoom out. if we can hide the defects around okay I think it's getting fine let's see the color again mm, increase the blue to mix no it's too much maybe let me see yeah it's too much I don't want to to blow the blue. Let's green. No. This is very difficult this galaxy to get the perfect balance of colors. No. I can't touch the um, the colors now. Otherwise, let's push the histogram a bit to get the details. All those details. No, the core is too much. Like this, and I will save another picture. And now. We will stop. I will reset this. Uh, no, not. It didn't drift too much. Because I want to show you the, the pictures people sent. Thank you, Quasar. The likes help. Almost, almost. <laughs> okay, you want to see this.
I think I, I gave you the congratulations before, but I don't remember very well in another live stream. Let me just uh, stop the platform. Enjoy the, the Hubble images I have around. Yes, me too, Ray. It's one of the things <coughs> that I like is to watch the real colors that we can't see with our with our eyes. It's a thing that uh, I like a lot, a lot. <laughs> Beleza, from Brazil. An equatorial mount is different than an equatorial platform. I can place my 12 inch in an equatorial mount, it's... forget. And I like to place it outside and watch visually and with an equatorial mount I can't do that comfortably. I place, I have a share that somebody, uh, that sometimes I have in my videos, a black share, uh, a regular Sheriff, I don't know what they call to that sheriff, and uh, it's very comfortable. I sit in that chair; it's adjustable, and I, I'm there watching the sky. Now that it's summer, it hot summer nights. Ah, a platform. I bought mine uh, from Geoptic Italy. It's. Um, Mine costs, it's a middle range one, it costs about uh, 1000 euros, or, or at least at that time it cost it. It's this one, mine is this one, 1000 euros, but it's for life this platform, and it holds a 12 inch perfectly. But uh, if it's for an 8 inch or, or below that aperture, and even a 10 inch, I don't know. They, there are uh, platforms, cheaper platforms, about uh, 400 euros or, or dollars or 500. If you don't know why, as me, how to build one. So let's, it's time for Community Pictures. So, Ray. That's here in the uh, in the chat with a 18-inch Dobsonian telescope. Double cluster. This is the the one that we will going to to watch now. Let me check the the email. Keep me, keep sending me pictures. I like to to show them to the world. Send me by email. You have my email in the about page of my channel. It's hide it, you unhide, and uh, and send me an email. Where is Ray? Ah. A Skywatcher, 8-inch Skywatcher 4 scope. It, this is the telescope. In the Silistron AVX mount. The scope is 800 millimeters. F4. Imaging Newtonian. 800. Ah, the, the um, focal length, of course. With a Bader MPCC comma corrector. And also op an optolong ultraviolet and infrared cut filter. 
he's a, he, he, Ray does a, a great job in astrophotography. He's trying EAA, and I'm very happy with it because it's doing fine. This had a, a, a bit of noise here, some intrusion at the left, but uh, you will get it. You will get it. It was bad luck. And this is the hole. This was the dumbbell. Dumbbell. This is the hole. You see, with that mount, you can get the stars much more perfect. And the ring, the ring nebula. Ring nebula. This is light pollution here. The effects of light pollution. The ring nebula. It's very beautiful, this nebula also. I like to watch this one also visually. Although I can't see the colors. But I like very much to watch it visually. So this was Ray. And we have also a picture from Brazil. I think. No, it's from uh, United States. It's from Mauro. And it's Saturn. Yes, here all that stuff that astrophotographers like to do to place all this information and the, si uh, the signature here. But he is Brazilian, I think. Saturn. April the 2nd. 2004 2004 I didn't notice it so this is was not yesterday a 10 inch sky watcher with a 2x ship Barlow and the camera is a tokem modified ah third re elaboration 31 of August added more videos and cleaned it up Lots of people do, do that, they save the stuff they do and then later in another year, in the future, they reprocess, it's a common thing that astrophotographers do. I don't do that, I just do a new, a new image, but uh, you can see also Titan here, the moon. And the year Titan, Titan is not visible as is. I had to push exposure way out to make it out. Then copied and added, added on it. It was partially behind power line. Just my luck. Yes, another thing that astrophotographers do is to to make to place the the moons of the planets on the post-processing part. I also don't do that. <laughs> I prefer as is and but it's common in astrophotography to to do that. And it's a, a beautiful Saturn with uh, the bands and the and the Cassini division. So that's it. Thank you Maru and thank you to the to Ray, of course, a resident almost here. <laughs> congratulations and congratulations because you are doing great, and especially to Ray because it's EAA, and uh, you are doing great. You will you will have uh, loads of fun, Ray, with uh, with EAA. I'm sure about that. I'm sure. Let me just check. Do you have a video explaining how, to the, how the platform moves? I understand the idea is to track the night sky, but I'm having a hard time visualizing how the platform moves in declination and right ascension. No, I don't have a video about that, but there's loads of information at, um, at the internet. It's like a cone. You imagine a cone that does like this. You see, and tracks the sky. It's like that. But just a part of the cone, it's that shaft that we see in the platform. I will show you. Where is it? 
here. You see, the cone is like the, the, the big circle here and the small circle at south. And this is pointing north, always. So it's like a cone and the telescope have, has an axis. An axis that point, is pointing north. And this is a, a part of the, the only part f uh, that you see of the circle is this part here, this shaft. You see? But the circle goes like this. It's the movement. Uh, and the platform only does this. I connect it and it goes like this, tracking the sky. <laughs> it's very nice. Now let's do a quick astrophotography with Topaz Denoise to see the result of our beautiful Triangulum Galaxy. So I pull the image from the SharpCap folder. I have it by the dates. It's the today, today image. And it's updating. It's updating, updated, let me check. I think it, it did a, a good job because the stars are not elongated. The trade-off of, of uh, Topaz Denoise is when the, the stars are a bit elongated, it enhances also that uh, defect, let's say. But as they are fine, we did a, a good job with the filter. It was spot on at six. It's fine. Now I just save the image and it saves n next to the, the the original one. It's saving, you see. Oh, sorry. I will show you again. It's all dark here, but Alexa, enciende streaming. We don't need any more. processing this is faster than it needed than it is now because i have loads of softwares running in the background okay let's see again because you didn't uh, back to the editor it's updating this is the original one and now it's updating and you will see the the noise disappearing at least the strong noise it's updating bam you see before after before after it it cleans the noise it's updating again but i have the image already here i have the image saved already so I can... This software is, is strong. You see? The final image. Our Triangle Galaxy with an 8-inch Dobsonian over an equatorial platform. It was a fun night, even with the weather like this. Now. I will not be streaming now with uh, the moon, this was the last night and we still have a bit of moon now, but it's okay. But from now it will be stronger and stronger and after the full moon, in the first opportunity, we will uh, try to capture Jupiter, okay? It's, it will be very funny with different telescopes, I don't know the telescope I will start with, but then we'll see. So Friday. Uh, the next video. Pay attention the people that like the 6-inch Dobson and Telescope, this go-to, because probably the video uh, I will upload on Friday will be a very nice video with the mods I did and how to do it, how to do them. Thank you very much all of you, the members, the subscribers and the non-subscribers, all the people that was here and have a really happy and nice week now, okay? Bye-bye!
Thank you.